Alright, what's up? Welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to fix lag, FPS drops and of course the annoying stutters. And in today's video I'm going to show you guys lots of tweaks so this video might be a little bit long but watch till the end of the video to do all those tweaks that you can possibly do to get better FPS. Now, do not worry, I'm also working on new tweaks and it might take a long time. Please help me revive my channel by liking the video, subscribing to the channel and also 98% of the people watching this video aren't even subscribed so if you want to help me out, if you want to revive my channel you know help me out please subscribe to the channel and also if you didn't know i have made a discord server and we want to get to 200 members so and yeah if you have any problems you can let me know in my discord server if you have any questions i can just answer it and if you want to join special giveaways the giveaways will be on my discord server so you must join the discord server so yeah without any further delay let's just get straight into the video all right so if you play on direct x11 in fortnite i'm going to be showing you guys a tweak that you can do which disables the full screen optimization so it will help you out a lot Alright, so what do you do? Well, what you have to do is just go in your file explorer and then go to wherever you install Fortnite. So for most of you guys, it'll be on your C drive. So what you have to do is just go in your C drive or wherever you install Fortnite. So I installed it in my C drive. So once you're in your C drive or wherever you installed it, I'm going to go in my program files. You just have to go over to wherever Fortnite is. So for me, it's in program files. So now go over to Epic Games, go over to Fortnite and then go over to Fortnite game, then binaries, then 164 and then you'll be right here. So now what you have to do is just scroll down until you find Fortnite client. Once 64 shipping.exe four of these will look the same with the same icon but you have to make sure it's the one which has the most size so it is 181,000 kilobytes so once what do you have to do once you find it is just right click on it and then click on property now once you're here what you have to do is just go over to compatibility all right so once you're here just check disable full screen optimization go over to change high dpi settings check on override high dpi scaling behavior and then just turn it on press ok press apply and press ok all right so once that's done just head over to your window Windows button and then go over to settings now once you're here go over to system and then go over to the notifications now turn all the notifications off all right so once that's done just go back and then go over to app all right so once you're here just head over to startup and then disable all the startup apps uh, that you don't need if you need some apps don't turn them off but turn most of the use unuseful apps off so once that's done again head over back then go to gaming so once you're in gaming just turn game bar off captures please turn it off now game mode turn it off but it might help you so you turn it on and then see your performance in game so find the difference see what's best for you and you'll be good to go all right so the next thing you can do is just go over to your file explorer once that's done go over to this pc right click on it click on properties all right so once that's done head over to advanced system settings all right so once you click that head over to advanced and then go over to performance click on settings and you'll be right here so now just click on adjust for best performance and then check smooth edges of screen font click on apply and then wait for it to apply and just once that's done just click ok and you'll be good to go but guys please be sure to turn on smooth edges of screen fonts as your text will look really bad if you don't turn it on but other stuff are just not needed and it just lowers a bit of performance it's not a very high it doesn't reduce a lot of performance but still it does reduce a bit of performance so if you want the good aesthetics don't turn it off but yeah for the best performance you should turn it off now press ok press ok and you'll be good to go everything will be saved all right so this tweak helps you to lower your input delay increase your fps and also help you to get a less ram usage so you'll have free a lot of free memory it will help you with input lag and also it will help you with your fps so what you have to do just click the link in the description download this application so just download it and then follow my steps all right guys so once you download it just open it up also, if it doesn't open for you, there will be like an icon right here next to your microphone and other st icons. So there will be an icon right here. Just double click on it and then the application will open. All right, guys. So once you open it, what you have to do is just set the free memory is lower than to your half of your memory. So if you have 16 gigs of RAM, set it to 8196. And if you have 8 gigs of RAM, set, set it to 4096. Or if you have less amount of RAM, just set it to half of your RAM. Once that's done, go over to one timer resolution and then set it to 0. 50. Also check in every custom timer resolution. Once that's done, also check start ILSC, minimize, check that, and also check launch ILC. So once that's done, click on start, click on purge standby list, and it will purge the standby list. And 
So once that's done, you can just minimize it and it will just run in the background. It will help you to increase your FPS, lower your input delay and all the other good stuff for you. And it will just increase your performance overall. All right, all right, we're back in the video now. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to update your NVIDIA graphics card drivers, how to turn off in-game overlay to get the best FPS possible. This will only work for NVIDIA users. So if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, you can just skip this step and you don't have to worry about anything. Just skip this step. So what you have to do is just go in your search bar and then type in GeForce experience now press enter and wait for the geforce experience to be opened now just wait for it to open all right so once you're here what you have to do is just go to your drivers and then click press on check for updates now it says you have the latest kit geforce game driver but for you you might not have it so please check for drivers if there's a new driver to install please install it and yeah it will give you better performance than what you're having but the thing is the latest driver won't give you the best performance for it you need to install a specific drivers there's like three specific specific drivers which you can install which are the best and you have to find out which one gives you the best performance now i'm not gonna go over that in this video but subscribe to the channel with notifications on because i'm gonna be uploading that next video so wait for that you're gonna use fps boost from that but yeah just check for updates download the driver once that's done go over to your your settings once you're here uh just go over to in game overlay and if it's turned on turn it off if you use it don't turn it off but if you don't even use it then please turn it off because it takes a lot of uh, power it's not a, a huge amount but it's still like five to ten percent of performance so yeah turn it off if you want better performance and if you use it you shouldn't turn it off now let's just get into the other step all right in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to lower your ram usage so if you have like high ram usage and your fortnite is you know uh taking a lot of ram and there's not enough ram for fortnite well don't worry this uh, method will fix it so what you have to do is just go to the link in the description and you'll be right here now this is a software which you can use to get less memory usage so what you have to do is just click on the download thing and click on the setup.exe one wait for it to download let it download and once it downloads it will be on the bottom of your screen just press on it and then press on yes once that's done press next press next press next and then press install all right so it'll say completed now just press next and now check a run memory duct and press finish also sorry if there's any background noise but yeah so if it says update just click on no and you will see this so now you can see my memory usage is actually 31 percent and my computer is using like five gigabytes of ram but once i click on clean memory press yes it just gave me two gigs of free memory and once i press that and i waited for a few seconds as you can see it gave me like two gigabytes of free memory all right so before you're launching fortnite just open up mem reduct and then press clean memory press yes and then it'll clean your memory and it will make you get the lowest ram usage possible so do that you'll be good to go you'll get less memory usage and also better performance on fortnite so what you have to do is just go over to your epic games launcher and then double click on it now just wait for it to open Alright guys, so once you're in Epic Games Launcher, just head over to Library and then go over to Fortnite. Now you'll see these three dots. Now what you have to do is just click on them and then go over to Options. Now uncheck the high resolution textures, press Apply and then it will delete the high resolution textures and Fortnite will take less storage. But you're asking me how am I going to optimize it? Well, I'm just going to be giving you guys tips on what you should do and where you should install Fortnite. Alright guys, so I really recommend you guys to install Fortnite on your SSD as SSDs are really faster than hard drives and you'll get a huge performance boost. It also decreases the stars so you'll be good to go. Just install it on your SSD and Fortnite is only 16 gigabytes, so you don't even need to worry about space. So if you only have a 128 gigabyte SSD as well, you can still install Fortnite because Fortnite is only 16 gigabytes if you uninstall the high resolution texture which I told you guys to do. Alright guys, so the next step is to go over to settings and then scroll down till you find this. Now, if you find Fortnite, just click on it and then you'll see this. Now, it will just click on additional command line argument. So once you check that, uh, if you see anything written in this box, please clear it. Uh, there's no need of it as Fortnite doesn't even support it. It doesn't even work these days. So don't use Alright guys, so now I'm going to teach you guys how to optimize your GPU for the best possible performance. So what you have to do is just go over to your search button and then type in graphics 
config settings now press enter and you'll be right here all right guys so once you're here what you have to do is just press on the browse button so now just go over where you install fortnite for me i installed it in my c drive so i'm just going into my c drive so c drive program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and then you'll be right here now just click on the fortnite client win64 shipping which is the most sized one and then just double click on it and you'll see this now what you have to do is click on options and then just click on high performance and click on save and you'll be good to go you'll get fortnite the most priority and your gpu will be optimized all right guys so now i'm going to show you guys how to uh, optimize your graphics card for the best possible performance so this is only for nvidia users so if you have an nvidia gpu please follow this step so what do you have to do for the best performance possible out of your gpu well just right click on your desktop and then just go over to nvidia control panel please wait for it to open as it might take some time all right so once you open nvidia control panel you'll be right here now just copy all my settings so I turn off anti aliasing gamma correction so i'm just going to turn it off right now so once that's done again scroll down and you'll see this now open gl rendering gpu just set it from auto select to your graphics card once that's done again scroll down until you find power management mode now once you're in power management mode just set it from optimal power to prefer maximum performance all right so once that's done again go uh, go over to prefer refresh rate and then set it to highest available and you'll be good to go so now I'll just turn up texture quality filtering quality to high performance now again scroll down and if you if your vertical sync is on turn it off and you'll be good to go press apply and these settings will be applied now once that's done go over to adjust image setting all right so once you're here just check on this and then set it from quality so if it's it's going to be this for you guys so slide from quality to performance once that's done again click on the use the advanced 3d settings press apply and then you'll have the best possible nvidia control panel settings all right guys so we're back in the video now i'm going to show you guys the best possible settings for fortnite so you'll get the best possible fps so what do you have to do you may ask well just go head over to your settings and for window mode just set it to full screen resolution set it to your monitor's native resolution if you're going trash fps you can lower it but yeah your game will look really bad if you lower it so for frame rate limit just set it to whatever you're getting consistently and you'll be good to go graphics now you can set this settings to whatever you want as it doesn't really affect your performance all right Right, guys so for the graphics settings please set it set everything to low but you can set your textures to high if you're getting bottlenecked by your cpu so if your cpu is bottlenecking your gpu please set your textures to high so 3d resolution this one gives you the biggest performance boost so if you're on a high-end pc set it from 90 to 100 percent if you're on, on a mid-range pc set it from uh, 70 to uh, 90 uh, but you can set it to 100 if you want it doesn't really matter but for the best performance set it to do set it from 6 70 to 90 and if you are on a low-end pc just set it to 60 to 70 percent you can go lower but the game will look really really bad so yeah once that's done just scroll down till you till you're here so if vsync turn it off motion blur turn it off show fps turn it on rendering mode try both dx11 and dx12 see what's better for you performance mode is for low end pc so if you're on a low end pc just turn on performance mode multi-threaded rendering turn it on gpu crash debugging turn it off latency markers turn it off nvidia low latency turn it on for the lowest latency but turn it off if you want the best possible performance also if you have turned on low latency mode on the nvidia control panel turn it off in the game and if you have turned it on in game turn it off on nvidia control panel latency flash turn it off ray tracing of course turn it off so yeah guys thanks for watching the video this really took a lot of time so i would appreciate a like and a sub so yeah join my free battle pass giveaway and i'll see you guys in my next video bye